this has been a pain in the ass for me to get running with this. Um, so just so you know, The Wheel of Time is based off of the Wheel of Time book series created by Robert Jordan. He ended up passing away before he could end up finishing the series out, but he left behind enough notes that the publisher was able to get a ghostwriter to finish it out, and I believe they ended up writing, I want to say, just one book to finish the series. It's supposed to be fantastic. I never finished it. I think I got through like seven or eight books. Um, I think there's something like 12 books. They are absolutely fantastic. So things I want to go over real, real quick that you will end up hearing. Um, Aes Sedai will kind of be explained. Aes Sedai are essentially the magic users of the world. They essentially have the ability to channel, which is essentially they can touch something known as the one true source. And they end up pulling through the one true source and they channel and they create all types of effects doing that. There is also an Amazon t um, series that has recently been created that um, I've watched and I actually quite enjoy. It does stray from the books quite a bit, but that's fine. Um, I think it's still pretty damn good. You'll also hear the term Tyrongreal. Tyrongreals are basically magical artifacts and devices that, according to the books, you're supposed to be able to channel a bit of the one power into it, and it creates an effect. I believe in the game they've changed it to where just holding one gives you an effect. Um, you will also hear the term Quendalar Seals. Quendalar Seals are seals that are holding the Dark One in his prison. They are impossible to break, and if they ever break, that means that the Dark One is breaking free out of his prison. The Dark One, for all intents and purposes, is the devil, for all intents and purposes, and he is real. Um, you will also hear the term Aja. Aja are the different divisions of the Aes Sedai within the White Tower. There's a hierarchy within the White Tower, and it's divided... Uh, the White Tower itself is this building that you will end up seeing. It's in the city of Tarvalon. Aes Sedai are part of the White Tower, and they are divided out into different Ajas, with each Aja being represented by a color, and each color has a specific focus. For instance, the yellow Aja focuses on healing. The blue Aja focus on quests and important things within the world, and they are also known as having a spy network. Um, the tutorial that we will do... I will show the tutorial, but we're going to play the intro first, because this should have played when we started. The wheel of time turns, and ages come and go, leaving memories that become legend. Legend fades to myth, and even myth is long forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again. In one such age long past, the Age of Legends. Mankind enjoyed a time of prosperity. Certain people, called Aes Sedai, were born with the ability to sense and channel the One Power. This was the energy at the center of the universe, the driving force of creation. Drawing on the One Power, the Aes Sedai could accomplish anything. They controlled the weather, healed the sick, and gained virtual immortality. With mastery came arrogance. One woman used her power to bore a hole into a place existing outside time and creation. This released a dark presence into the world. Although it took the name Shaitan, it became known by many others. Father of lies, soul's bane, or most commonly, the Dark One. Many flocked to the Dark One's banner, including 13 of the most powerful Aes Sedai, known later as the Forsaken. Their army was filled with twisted creatures created by the Dark One out of nightmare. Trollocs and their horrific masters, the Murdral. The War of the Shadow had begun. A man called the Dragon led an assault against Chael Ghul the location of the boar, and he succeeded in forcing the Dark One back through the breach. He closed it off, trapping the Dark One and the Thirteen Forsaken on the other side. The dragon created a collection of palm-sized stone seals to contain the power that kept the prison closed. These seals the dragon entrusted to the remaining Aes Sedai. For years, the Aes Sedai kept the seal safe in the White Tower. But the Dark One had his revenge. Moments before his banishment, in a final blow against the dragon, 
he tainted the male aspect of the One Power. The taint drove every man who could channel insane. And uncontrolled, these madmen rent the very earth with their power. This time became known as the breaking of the world. The women of the Aes Sedai rallied and eventually destroyed the male channelers. But many of the seals were lost in the chaos. Only two remained within the White Tower. To this day, the Aes Sedai search for the missing seals, but unknown to them, others search as well. What was, what will be, and what is, may yet fall under the shadow. It's such an obscure game that ended up coming out because there was nothing but the books out. And they created this game, and it's absolutely a fantastic game. It is a first-person shooter for all intents and purposes, and you play as an Aes Sedai. It has no bearing on the actual story that's in the books. It kind of has its own little side story. Um, I did see what you said, Perot. I just didn't want to interrupt the cinematic. Um, I'm going to force quit out of the game first and restart it, because once I play a cinematic in the game, this is one of the problems I have with the game right now, as soon as I play a cinematic, it breaks, and the game won't play a second cinematic. So I'm going to have to save at points when the game has them. And I believe it's at the beginning of levels and at the end of levels. So I'm going to have to do a lot of savings. And we're going to have to do a lot of force quitting. Um, as far as explaining the Dark One, the source, and the main purpose of the Aes Sedai count as spoilers, technically, yes, if you end up going into it. Because all I know about the Dark One is what I've said. And all I know is what I've said there. I have never finished the book series, and I do want to finish it at some point. Um, but it gives a basics thing. And if you want to watch the... Amazon series. The Amazon series does not go into all of this stuff. Um, it, it hasn't touched on every aspect, but nothing is essentially a major spoiler for the plot that will be in the series. But the series yet has not mentioned the Quendalar Seals. And I think it's pretty much it. It also hasn't mentioned the Forsaken. Elena, in order to be initiated into the White Tower, you must be tested. The artifact you see here is a special Tirangreal for this purpose. Walk through each of its arches in turn. They will bring you face to face with your greatest fears. Don't panic, but listen for my voice. I will guide you through. In this way, we start your training. So I love this First section. Time is for what was. The way back will come but once. Be steadfast. What I love about this with about this tutorial is in the books, in order to become from an initiate to an actual Aes Sedai, they actually have to go through this Tirangrial, and they go through a series of tests. Some of them never come back. And that's one thing that they end up saying in the books. So the tutorial to teach you how to play the game Don't is actually going through the Tirangrial and becoming an Aes Sedai. You were a curious child, Elena. A cave-in trapped you inside this dark cavern. You huddled in the blocked entrance for hours, terrified of the dark. Finally, someone from your village dug you out. That's not going to happen now. Because you never actually explored this cave, it is forged from your suspicions. It is what you feared it might be. You must face it and escape. Follow my directions and all will be well. Press forward In to move ahead. The cavern, it's safe to move around. Explore a bit. I'm using a WASD, which I believe is built into the game initially. Save in dangerous areas by pressing F5. Follow it, but be careful. You may have to jump over some of the debris. Spacebar or right mouse button will jump. Does how you do this determine your character? No, you always play as Elena Sedai. Everything's in sight, Elena, but out of reach. There must be another way to the arch. Steal yourself and drop down. Uh. You're hurt, child. Take some of the roots that grow in this cave. They have healing properties. Rest a moment. The root works better if you're still. The only exit appears to be through the water. Dive in. Directional keys to swim, press jump to rise. It's a basic first-person shooter, 
It's just there's another exit to this pond. The arch is close, but there's a climb for it. The path is broken, so you'll have to leap over the holes. Be wary of the winds. Them strong ankles. <laughs> the way back will come but once. Walk through the arch. A lot of these terms and these statements you're hearing aren't specific to just the game. They are actually written in the book. Books, I you've should say. You've done well, Elena, but you've only begun. The second time is for what is. The way back will come but once. Be steadfast. This she's supposed to be the Amarlin seat. Why she's here for it? Nah, 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 nah cuz she's part of the story. Amarlin seat is the head Aes Sedai who oversees all the Aes Sedai and she's not attached to any one Aja. She is all of the Ajas for all intents and purposes. Elena, your virtually non-existent ability to channel is crippling. Fear of failure has driven you to use Tirangreal as crutches. Yet you still hide from the world doing research in the White Tower. Only the lure of new artifacts could draw you from the safety of the tower. These are the basements of a powerful dark friend who also collects Tirangreal, a collection protected by traps. Try the door, Elena, although the lock doesn't bode well. Did I play Dark Messiah? I did briefly. I do need to play it all the way through. <sighs> so much for that. You must explore this storeroom for another exit. Or find the key to this one. Your experience allows you to identify the functions of new artifacts. When you pick up a Tirangreal, examine it to understand how to use it. T researching your Tirangreal is very important. You should do so whenever you pick up a new artifact. In this case, air pulse by pressing one, researching it by pressing F2. Iron are unbreakable. Others open without much effort. So the Earth, Air, Fire, Water, Spirit is also listed in the books. Basically, when an Aes Sedai channels, they weave the one power as it's determined. And the weave, the shape of the weave, along with the essences that they use, determines what the outcome is. So in this case, this Tirangriol uses air. Air pulse pushes small, quick weaves of air directly in front of you at a very close range. If the blast of air strikes someone, the weave hits like a hammer, inflicting significant damage. The artifact continually replenishes its power from the one source, so charges are not expend expended. As if a giant hand had smashed him aside, he flew ten paces through the air, crashing into the stones. Break everything! Break open these ones. She's like, what are you doing? Why, why aren't you breaking open the ones you need to break open? I'm like, breaking everything! Triggered one of the dark friend's traps. It protects the key in this alcove. Take the key. This portcullis isn't reinforced. You should be able to break through it with air pulse. What is this F9 one? Or 9? Light sphere. Activating the Tirangriol weaves a simple light sphere. The sphere accompanies you until unraveled by a subsequent activation. She channeled even as she moved, weaving a web of light that hung to one side, a sphere of pure white that cast her lurid shadows about the room. I believe those are, like, all from the book. That's cool. I forgot about this thing. This time you have a key. This corridor is blocked by a reinforced portcullis, opened only by a lever on the other side. You cannot break through. There is another artifact here, though. Take and research it. The glow around the Tirangreal means that it will reappear here if you use all of its charges. <gasps> Step up to the portcullis and use the shift artifact. Shift instantly moves you a few paces ahead of your current location through all obstacles as long as the destination is clear. Any weaves currently locked onto you lose their target. You did not need to know a place at all to travel if you only intended to go a very short distance. Now pull the lever to open the portcullis. Just have to touch it. The charge of the shift artifact, it reappeared. Take it again and use it to pass through the remaining portcullis. This trap is the deadliest one. A stream of fireballs prevents anyone from going further. 
However, the fire shield artifact here protects against both weaves of fire and fire-based environmental hazards. Take and use it. Then walk down this hall. Select the fire shield artifact by pressing 3. Fire shield forms a protective barrier that prevents all fire-based weaves or environmental hazards from affecting you. She filled the corridor around him with fire from wall to wall, floor to ceiling, fire so hot the stone itself smoked. Robin screamed in the middle of the flame and staggered away from her. A heart beat less and he stood, inside the flame but surrounded by clear air. Every scrap of sidar she could channel was going into that inferno, but he held it at bay. Ow! This is a heal. With each activation, the heal tower on Grial raises your health slightly. Chill ripped through him, not the blasting cold of full healing, but a chill that pushed weariness out as it passed. Probably should have just put this on. The fire shield is a passive defense. There are much stronger defensive artifacts, such as the Reflect Tyrong Grial found here. Take the switch and use it against the trap. For a short time, Reflex surrounds you with a shield that causes any weaves that strikes it to be bounced back at the originator. You are not affected by the attack. Um, I think I'm going to stop reading the quotes, just in case they have spoilers or whatever on them. You're amassing quite the collection of Tyrion yeah. Why don't you use your new fireball artifact against this wall trap? The fireball Tyrangriel launches a concentrated weave of fire. It explodes upon impact with anything except water, which causes it to fizzle. So the great thing about this wall is there was a there was a um, PvP mode in this game that allowed you to. Uh, it was basically a party based PvP. You were either I said I a white cloaker on the side of the Trollocs. Um, and I think it was a 3v3 PvP, but in order for the opposing teams to win, they had to capture the Quindler seals of the other teams and bring it back to their base. You were able to put traps and, like, walls and stuff all around your entire area, which was really cool. The arch is there, Elena. You must watch where you're walking, child. Now, quickly climb up the wall and leave this dreadful place. The arch won't stay forever. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yep. Steady, Elena. You've endured much, but learned much as well. I know each test is hard, but what comes is the worst of all. The third time is for what will be. The way back will come but once. Be steadfast. In this time, you are an emissary of the White Tower. A diplomatic mission brought you to Faldara, an outpost on the Borderlands, whose soldiers hold the forces of the Dark One within the Blight. They didn't expect the sudden, concentrated assault that overwhelmed the Keep. No doubt in search of you. Now it's only a matter of time until the Trollocs and Murdral find the chamber in which you hide. Because you cannot channel, you are forced to rely on the Sister and Warder accompanying you for protection, but they are outnumbered. Your only chance is to set traps for the invaders. There is only one exit, and the invaders are likely yeah, just This inside. is what it was like. That's where they'll enter. Two paths lead from this door to the main room where you'll be. You must channel the invaders through one of the corridors in order to ensure that they'll encounter your traps. Place a makeshift wall to block the shorter path. Which is the shorter path? This one. Very good, child. Now place two spear traps along the remaining corridor. It's tight enough to make the spears effective. Yeah, this is what the PvP was like. One more. Good. Now place one more spear trap. Where do you want? Oh, right there on the floor. Although damaged by the spears, the Trollocs won't stop. They will likely just become angrier and charge out of the corridor into the main room. A pit at the opening might make a nice welcome. Now position your companions, the sister and her warder. Although it would be safest to keep them in the main room, you can place them anywhere. 
So warders are bonded to Aes Sedai, and they're essentially like guardians, but they also share a lot of One emotion and stuff due to how they're bonded. Activate the portcullis in front of the alcove in back of the main room. It might just save your life. You've done well, Elena, and you're as ready as you can be. Steal yourself. The Trolloc Horde <coughs> is gathering outside, and the door won't hold them off for long. <laughs> so warders in the books, though they didn't do it in the show, have a cloak that's made the for them has appeared, Elena. You must that makes them now. basically fade into the background, which is why he goes invisible. Don't tarry. The arch won't last forever. Frickin' Meardral over there. Go to the archway, Elena. Escape while you still can. There's no way to save your companions. He's just standing there. Wait. Okay. You are washed clean, Elena, of all ties that bind you to the world. You come to us washed clean in heart and soul. You are sealed to the White Tower now. You are ready. Uh, give me a second. So you just do that. Uh, Alright. Yeah, so if you, um, the fun thing with this is if you hit escape, you can actually walk around the menu environment. It's, I like this little thing. It was just a cute little light thing that they did. Alright, we are starting up a new game. We are keeping it on medium. Let's go. Another age, called the Third Age by some, an age yet to come, an age long past. A wind rises in the Dragon Mount. The wind is not the beginning. There are neither beginnings nor endings to the turning of the Wheel of Time. But it is a beginning. The wind dives down through the streets of Tarvalum, the city surrounding the White Tower. Shutters slam closed in its wake. People hug their cloaks and race inside their homes. Without knowing why, they sense that the wind brings a chill. It has nothing to do with the weather. Elena Sedai, the keeper of the Chronicles of the White Tower, the right hand of the Amalan Seat, is touched by the wind. She shivers. Elena is Aes Sedai, but she can't channel the one power more than a trickle. Because of this, some wonder if her friendship with the Amalan isn't the only reason for her position. But few can question her mastery of the tower's collection of Tyr Angrial, artifacts from the Age of Legends that can perform wondrous tasks with the One Power without requiring the user to channel. Elena is of the Brown Aja, one of seven different factions in the tower. While some dedicate themselves to finding and eliminating men that can channel, like the Red, or championing worthy causes, like the Blue, the Brown Aja is dedicated to the gathering and preservation of knowledge. It's no wonder that Elena finds herself working late into the night. This is pre-recorded, so this, the FPS is, is, is always that? like this. A report from the expedition of Brown Aja sisters that I sent to the Borderlands. And? It's not good news. They used the maps I discovered, but haven't found anything resembling a cache of Tiran Grial or one of the Quendler seals. Even worse, they've had some trouble with the local White Cloaks. Apparently, the garrison leader hates Aes Sedai. White Cloaks? That's a nickname for the army known as the Children of the Light, because of their white cloaks. They're fanatics. They claim they're battling the Dark One, but most of the time, they just terrorize the public. I don't like their tactics. Can you answer the door, Kieran?
the witch who can't channel, right? Where are the seals? Where are the seals? Mm, they've got to be here somewhere. for a fool. The seals aren't here at all. We all grieve for the loss of Kirin Sedai, my child. I know she was your friend, but she was just one of 14 sisters murdered this night. You are the only surviving witness. Witness to what? <coughs> Who was that man? Why was he demanding the seals? I thought it was public knowledge that only the Amarlin knows where they are hidden. Public <laughs> knowledge inside of the tower. I believe that this was his first visit. But how did he get in? How did he get to my room? Ah, yes. Despite the casualties, I doubt that he could have made it to your chambers without assistance. Assistance? Black Aja. I have no proof, so I want to hear none of this from you outside of this room. But I have suspected for some time that a few of our sisters have allied with the Dark One. Who? I cannot say. Not yet. Why are you telling me? I was the only one left alive. Wouldn't that implicate me? You're not Black Aja, child. I'd stake my life on it. In fact, I already have. This man was here to take our seals, although I can't guess why. But he didn't even come close to success. Either his attempt was poorly planned, or there's something here that we don't understand. Regardless, he did manage to murder our sisters and steal your store of Tyr Angrial. And the whole tower knows about it. That reminds me. There was a panel hidden in the wall of my chamber that I'd never come across. It held an unfamiliar Tyr Angrial. <sighs> yes, I know. I put that panel in your wall back when it was my chamber. The artifact inside was very important. This is what we need to discuss. The sitters of the hall are understandably furious. Right now, they are scattering our home guard into the countryside to search for the assassin, which they do against my wishes. Don't mistake me, child. I'm just as angry as the others. But I hesitate to leave the White Tower with a skeleton force to go look for a needle in a haystack. And this man carries my artifact. If he is discovered by someone not true to the Tower... I understand. What do you want from me? I believe this is yours. It's a report found on your desk. Given the handprint, the man has obviously read it. The report claims that a seal might be located in the borderlands to the west. I thought that after his failure here, he might try again there. It was a flimsy lead, but I had nothing else. My eyes and ears along that path have confirmed that he is indeed heading southwest. They also tell me that he has surrounded himself with a regiment of Trollocs. This slows him down, and will make it difficult to cross the Manetherendral River, since he can't travel through Whitebridge. If you hurry, you should be able to overtake him in the woods outside of Shadar Logoth. Try to catch him before he reaches the city. You certainly don't want to be chasing after him inside of that cursed place. Me? How am I supposed to handle an assassin and a regiment of Trollocs? I can't channel the One Power more than a trickle. Even he knew that. I can't trust anyone else. You've been studying our Tirangreal for years. No one is more proficient in their use. These artifacts can make you as powerful as any other sister, if not more. Take whatever we have left. Be careful, though. He's obviously been trained to use Tirangrial himself. Also, watch for any of our forces tracking the assassin. They may get lucky, and you must reach him before they do. Find this man and bring back what he has stolen. More than you know depends on it. Tarval and Gold convinced a sailor to take me down the Manether Endril, but drawing nearer to Shadar Logoth made him increasingly nervous. 
He finally left me off, saying that this is the closest he'd come to the cursed city. The assassin has already been here. He and his Trollocs left a swat of destruction in their wake. Others from the tower are bound to find it. The Trollocs' latest victims appear to be a caravan of peace-sworn tinkers, but I'm too late to help them. I must try to overtake the assassin before we near the city. What's inside scares even the Shadow Sworn. Try to track down the assassin before he can reach Shadar Logoth. In doing so, learn to use your Tyrion Grial to defend yourself against the protectors, the troll against his protectors, the Trollocs. Research what you carry by selecting an artifact and pressing the F2 key. Gather any Tyrion Grial you can find among the remains of the Tinker's wagons. Some caravans are suspected to carry such ancient artifacts. Goodbye, boy. <laughs> I do like when you get dropped off at the, um... That you actually see the boat. No, that's nothing. Saving Seibu. I'm good. I should actually like save. Like, okay, whatever. So I'm not gonna. Ugh, my mouse. Seriously, I'm not gonna remember where every tiny thing is located because it's been years since I played this. Obviously, with it having come out in 1999. Um, it is an absolutely fantastic first-person game. You have, by the way, you automatically have auto run on. If you hold shift, you walk. There's a tinker who's dead. I already turned down the music. You can hear it. The music in this game is actually pretty damn fantastic. So, personal shield. Surrounds you with a weave that blunts all damage dealing attacks, internal or external. It is a permanent effect, although it can be worn away by said attacks. Subsequent activation replenishes the shield strength. So I'm just going to turn that on. And it puts it in the top left corner that you can see. So the little lines around each of the icons, they'll actually go around it and um, s slow down. Or they'll, they'll, they'll cycle down to show you how much is left. And we start with just air pulse. Hello, Myth. You don't look very good. So that's heal. We don't need to research it. Ah, that's a Trollock. Mm. Hello, sir. Are you okay? No, you're 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 definitely not okay. Is there a crouch button? I don't remember. Oh no! I pressed the button and everything went away. Okay, came back. I pressed the Windows button and it shrunk everything. <laughs> oh, that creeped me out a little. Blood and ashes. There he is. Said I, leave me alone. The bare basic attack. Tear on Grail. So this is basically your first real attack that you get, and it's basically equivalent to your pistol. Dart. Tear on Grial focuses the one power into a weak burst of energy. Although a single charge may not necessarily inflict much damage, the artifact can spray multiple dar darts at a victim in a very short time. It is very fast. We will be primarily using that for a while. You are nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I let him hit me. They actually dodge, which has always driven me nuts. And he throws axes that you just sidestep. Here, give me that. Another personal shield. <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to, like, give spoilers on the story in general, with especially with regards to the Amazon series. Um, but, um, most anything that I end up mentioning is stuff that's mentioned very early on. I will say that you don't learn about a lot of things in the Amazon book of, or the Amazon series right away because there's so much involved in the world and in the books themselves that the back of each book is a glossary that uh, you use to, like, reference things from the past if you don't remember any of it. Like, it's that insane and it's that densely packed with information throughout the entire books. 
So the Amazon series did this really good thing where they're introducing concepts and ideas about the world very, very slowly to everyone. So that um, you haven't heard about the Quendalar Seals yet because you don't need to know about the Quendalar Seals yet in the Amazon series. Um, but they will guarantee to explain it at some point. They've been doing that little by little by little. And I do like that they've been easing everyone into it. Fireball. Fireball tier on Grial launches a concentrated weave of fire. It explodes upon impact with anything except water, which causes it to fizzle. Fireball's interesting. It does have a radius explosion damage, which is good, and you'll see why. She's, she's fine. She's still bleeding. She's okay. I only have three fireballs. I have a hundred darts, though. Stop freaking sidestepping this! Keep sidestepping all of his axe throwings. <laughs> I don't remember how often I used to use shield when I played this game back in the day. So that's Shadar Logoth. The only basics you need to know about Shadar Logoth was something happened way in the past. The city now stands, stands empty in the world, and all the Aes Sedai, everyone stays away from it, including the Shadow Spawn, like the Trollocs and the Mirror Troll and stuff. Because there's something incredibly evil in there. I've heard that they explain about the city and the evil inside of it much later in the series. I've never gotten to. Um, but it's supposed to be, like, so infested with, like, something that no one steps foot in there. And I will say, they do go into the city in the, in the series. Very early on. Um, they go into the city in the books. And, ugh, bring up the console on accident. They go into the city in this. Obviously. And it is decently creepy. So the best way to use the fireball is to aim at their feet and hit the ground. Because of the splash damage will hit them. Because they just dodge everything. And the fireball moves slow. Stop it. 17 points left. Anything else over here? Oh, it's just, an, it's just the route I ever, another route I took, or, or that you can take, I guess. So, I don't need another herb because there's one over there. <clears throat> I'm saving for a very specific reason because, and I'll show you what ends up happening. So, the cinematics in the game run through QuickTime, which obviously isn't supported anymore. In order for me to run with it properly, I had to install QuickTime Lite, is what was recommended, and I had to make changes to how the game runs within GOG. Um, and I'll show you real quick afterwards, in case anyone ends up watching in the future uh, when I up we upload this to YouTube, and they're all like, well, how did you manage to get it running? Because I am on Windows 10. So this is what happens. Nothing. It just, it, it crashes. So give me a second to force close it. So what I ended up doing was I installed QuickTime Lite. And then you need to go into additional executables under NGLIDE settings. And in here, change it to Vulkan and screen resolution by des uh, desktop. That was it. That someone posted out on the GOG forums. It works brilliantly. Unfortunately, it will only play a single cinematic, and the next cinematic it attempts to play while playing the game breaks it. So the only way to deal with it is save your game, force close it, come back in. 
It's really annoying, but, I mean, this is what happens when you end up using something like QuickTime to do your games, instead of, like, something that's within it. Uh, let me see, can I just do that? No. So it's this one? Not that one. There we go. You witless brutes! She'll be here any moment! I said die, witch! Burn you and your kind! Let me alone! It looks like this smells like a witch fish. <laughs> Ducking into the alcove managed to save my life, but the assassin has slipped through my grasp. This tunnel might lead into the city, but Shadar Logoth is huge. Finding him won't be easy. I'm not at all eager to enter the city anyway. Shadar Logoth fell into ruin thousands of years ago in the battle against the Dark One, but it became something sinister, an evil apart from the Shadow. The assassin won't find any friends here, but the horrors inside await me as well. Track the assassin through the city however you can. Shadar Logoth is ancient. The city may hold artifacts that could help to keep you alive. Okay, so we're doing the same as before. I'm gonna say save there, and we're going to quit out and restart it so I don't have to deal with it having issues. What is this? Why was it open? So that way when the next cinematic comes up, we don't have to deal with it. Oh my god. There. Alright. It's freaking creepy as hell. Something just killed a Trollock. I want that. How do I get that? From over there. I'm gonna dry up. <laughs> I freaking hate this city. There's an axe on the ground that belonged to a troll, I guaranteed. So I know you've heard the reference of Mirdral so far. If you have watched the Amazon series, you have seen a Mirdral. They don't call them Mirdrals in the Amazon series because they have multiple names in the books. They're also known as the Eyeless. It's a dead troll. <sighs> Okay, Seeker. I love Seeker, especially in this city. Um, Seeker. Seeker launches an explosive projectile at a target gathering speed as it hunts the target down. Unless countered, Seeker explodes upon impact. Um, I believe it will follow the target. I don't know if it can ever stop following the target, but it tends to follow them. my seekers. I need them here. <laughs> I 
he looks like he smells like goldfish and mothballs. I did, I saw you say that. I don't think I mentioned the mothballs part, but yes, he does look like that. Eighteen fireballs, ninety-three heroes now. Or darts, I should say. Freaking hell. Trying to figure out where to go is such a pain sometimes in this area, in this place. <laughs> he has tossed it on his head. I'm uh I'm putting a shield on. Fuck this. I don't know why I'm not just keeping a shield on. That goes up, that goes down. Let's go down real quick. Hi, Wolver. Welcome to the Wheel of Time, the video game that was created without any knowledge of it from a lot of people. Oh, fucking hell. I'm dealing with you, give me more secrets, thank you. I don't know what my limit is on the heal on Griel, or tier on Griel. They're not on Griel, they're tier on Griel. There is a thing known as on Griel and saw on Griel. I'm not going into that because we don't touch it in the game. More fireballs over there. And it's in a spot that just recovers fireballs. Welcome to the wheel of time. Yeah. God fucking damn it! Reload! God damn it. Did I actually go down there? I don't know. I no, I didn't. I don't think there was anything here. No. Isaac and I have already watched the the uh, Amazon series. I was really excited for it. They've tried making movies and series for the Wheel of Time for quite a long time. Amazon's the first time it's officially been done. There was a... You can find it online. There is a really, really old pilot episode called Dragon Reborn, and it's garbage. It is horrible. I remember watching it. It was just so bad. I think I'm just jumping down there. When you were in college, you were ejected from every fraternity because you were circumcised. Apparently, circumcised. Apparently, you need to be a complete dick. Fucking Kind of surprised you didn't take any damage from that. I don't want to go down there. Go. I see your eyes. <laughs> Fucking little bastards. Frickin' hell. Shit. I didn't need that. Why did I do that? Get away from me. See if there's anything over there. 
the other side. Fuck. It at least hits the shield. Oh. Oh, there's no getting through that. So this is the city being alive, because it will chase you down. You can hit it. But... Go away. Go away. You can actually damage it enough where it will retract completely, but it will come back out. There's no killing whatever it is. What is that? Is that shift? That's shift. place that I... Can I go through there? That's the other side of where I've already been. Why would I want to go? Oh, because I need to go back. Can I get shift again? Fuck! Here, load. Alright, so you're up here. You can get shift again, but there's no walking back with shift. Oh. Just jump up from over here. Yeah. Get out of here. Saw your eyes, little bastard. Why is he just standing there? Yo. I think he's bugged. He's not supposed to just stand there. See if it fixes him. I plan for this. He says I plan for this and that's all he does. Hey, I caught you. <laughs> for some reason you can't do anything. Uh. Yeah, I think he's supposed to run in this way. I don't know why he's bugged. So fucking weird. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's a shield up there. And there's a seeker up there. How do I get that? Probably from in here. Um. Damn it. Shut up, Seti. Damn it. I think we're gonna have to leave them. Ah! Well, that makes me upset. Guess I could somehow get it from here. Man! Why? Oh wait, there's nothing up there. Get away from me. <laughs> mm, bugs. You know, seriously. I get from up here? Yes. There's a healing one over there, too. God damn it. I like how he's just stuck down there. Oh, I think that's where you have to go, so I might as well get this one first. Ugh. Can I jump up there? No. Uh. Oh, sir. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> just, it's so silly that he's just stuck there. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to have run through the door when you came out. And then he probably despawns, and then when you see him again is when you try to chase him up the stairs and he destroys the stairs. Uh. Nope. Get away from me.
I see that one. He's trying to get away. Yeah, it just, it continuously just follows. It's amazing. I'm not sure if I've been here. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go down there out of curiosity. Oh yeah, this is where you first, okay, loading. I think it's whispering stay, lie down. Oh shit! Get away! Go die! Just die! Take it! Just take it! Ow! Why are you still alive? Fuck! I already have a hundred of these. Oh, you can pick them up even when you can't, don't need them? That kind of sucks. You go. I see your tentacle things. <laughs> you just trying to run. You still alive? You're still fucking alive. What killed me? Or what hurt me just now? funny thing is that when I first played this, you can't shoot this unless there's a target. See how it says Seeker requires a target? You literally can walk through areas and just constantly press the button, and if something is able to be targeted, it will come out and fire. So you can, like, cheese a little bit, but honestly, that's how I got through a lot of this in the beginning. Because these guys are were a pain in the ass to me. Where is it coming from? Because I still hear it. There it is. Fucking hell. Damn it. Can I break this? No. Uh oh. Yeah, so 10 is the maximum you can have the heal. I think 10 is, might be maximum for uh, Seeker as well. Does it tell you if you researched? Charge is 10. No, it doesn't. It just tells you what you have currently. Get away. I wanna just, like, hit it. Oh, fuck! Ow, all I'm doing is hurting myself! There's an impressive collection of like powers that you get in this. I remember it just it's 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 really impressively long. This city is a cursed maze. Blood and ashes, where is the exit? Stop, murderer! Witch! This is your fault! The city will kill both of us, and it's on your head. Why didn't you just let me go? God! 
Look at all those frames. It ha it, it's always been like this, though. <clears throat> I like how she announced herself. Like, why don't you just attack him without announcing? put himself in the heart of the web. The streets of the city are deadly. The bowels are only worse. I can't imagine what they hide. And I hope I don't find out. The longer the assassin evades you, the greater the chance that he will die before you regain the Tirangriol that he carries. Find him quickly and get the Armalin's Tirangriol back. We are going to save and we're, as before, force quitting, restarting. So that we know that it will play the next cinematic it comes across. Can you go away? Stop showing me that symbol! Ugh. No, get away from me! What is this? Seven. Personal illusion. Personal illusion weaves your image before you, an ethereal copy of you, and leaves it there to fool others, especially very magic-sensitive enemies such as Mashadar or Makinshin. Mashadar is that I think it's that um, the, the one of them is the smoke thing that's coming after us. Although I think it's Mashadar. Makinshin is within the ways. We'll see that later. Although not solid, this image can be targeted by other weaves. It dissipates after some time. I forgot they had actual names until it said it. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have mentioned it earlier. I'm just checking everywhere. Oh, hey, fireball. 30 now. Ooh, personal shield. I do not remember how long you can be underwater. But it looks like there's something under there. No. Get out of, get away from me. Are you kidding me? No, get- stop. Fucking hell. those right now. Cape movement looked pretty good for the time. <laughs> I don't know how many people at, this was like um I don't remember how well it did as far as its um as its sales. I'd have to look it up. But um it's pretty impressive that a game that relied on a fan base from a series of books of all things ended up managing to have a video game that was as well done as this one is. Get, go away! Fucking hell. jump. Maybe from here. Ugh, fucking hell. I'm gonna have to uh, save and just reload each time. It makes it a lot easier. Here. Save. Save. There. Actually, you know what? Hold on. There. 
because it filled me up entirely. That's what I was hoping it was going to do. Um, save again. I don't remember what this one does. Decay. For a short while, Decay slowly drains away both the target's health and the charges of all held artifacts. What? Oh. Of the targets. So if the target's holding any tier on Grial, okay. I think it was, I feel like Decay was mostly useful in, um, online, um, PvP. Because it definitely feels like there's a lot of, um, things that you can get that are more useful in PvP than it is in the actual game. <clears throat> there's two. I do not remember how long she can hold her breath for. Oh, there's another lever on the other side. get up. Are any of these ever going really to be broken? Oh, it's just timed. Shit. So... Try this, this, there. What's the point in being under here? I wanna know. Oh, there's a door. Heal tear on Griol. Did that count as like hitting the water? Oh, what is this? Water shield? Okay. Fuck off. Oh, that's the original room. Nope. Get away. Get away. <laughs> Forms a protective barrier that prevents all water-based weaves or environmental hazards from affecting you. Oh, it allows you to breathe underwater. Which we'll probably need in a second. Probably that. Yep. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this is probably too deep and too long to be able to do without the water shield on. Or is I'm like, check. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> I 
I basically was checking to see if there's any tier on Grail down there. Here. I'm gonna wait until she starts drowning, and then I'll use it again. There we go. I need to go the other way. There's stuff over there. I want it. I feel like this was a very bad decision. No, it's another water one. This is a good decision. I don't need any more decay. Use that underwater, anyways. I feel like this may have been a very bad decision. Surface, surface, surface. I know you're down here. Welcome you're back. Not to like cheese, not to like cheese. I stole from the tower, right? Will I hit the Excellent, Chris. Thank you for the resub. Also, hi. How are you? I like how I can still hear him from under here. I'm just checking to see if there's anything down here. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, let's get back out. <laughs> He's freaking out about Shadar Logoth, the city. Save me. Wonderful. What? Excited said, Chris, thank you for gifting a sub to Reaper with no name. That was really sweet. Um, that's sh what is this? Swap places. Tiran Girl switches your position with that of your target. Swap places tricks any weaves that currently track you into tracking your target and vice versa. <laughs> Looks breakable. It's not. He has to be through here. Can I hit you through this? I want to open this one and <coughs> this one. It's this one. I don't think there's anything else. Well, how do I get through? Why are there two of you? Oh. Get over here. That's why. Swap. <laughs> yeah, I saw your statement, Borden. <coughs> oh, shit. Get out. Stop. What killed me just now? <coughs> no, no. Are you kidding me? I didn't save since I got up there. Fuck. 
rip probably all the explosions, maybe. I might, I might have done it to myself without even noticing. Alright. <coughs> we at least know how to go through this a lot quicker. It's fine, we'll be fine, don't worry. I think what I need to do... is I need to drop an illusion in that area. Go this way to grab this stuff first. Healed up entirely. Hi, Saggy. I think I'll have an extra water shield out of this if I'm lucky. Not that I need it, but... destroyed the illusion immediately. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. City, I swear to God. Four. Fork. For a short time, Fork erects a shield. Although artifact weaves that penetrate this shield still affect you, a duplicate attack is launched back at the originator. <laughs> I have 35. I don't know how many fireballs you can have. Fuck you. See you over there. Nope. Bastard. Yeah, see if <laughs> work. Two of them in there.
What is this one? Spirit Shield. Forms a protective barrier that prevents all spirit based weaves or environmental hazards from affecting you. Which I have a feeling is that over there. alone. Oh shit. Ow. You winning, son? Uh. Fuck. Uh. I think I need to go down those hallways and grab some stuff. Oh, you are? Fucking hell. Did I just miss a whole bunch of them? He went down the hallway. Here, I'll save that. I got him. Enough. Spare me. Light, you deserve to die a thousand times for what you've done. I was a pawn, a dupe. Ishmael set me up to die. Ishmael? Not the Forsaken. He's just a children's tale. One of the thirteen chosen by the Dark Lord. Probably the most powerful of them all. He's very real. If you'd seen what I've seen... You don't refuse Ishmael when he commands you, my dear. You're a Dark Friend. He wouldn't be commanding you if you hadn't already promised your soul to the Dark One. And by the way you ordered those Trollocs around, I'd say you had some status. Trollocs don't obey pawns. They eat them. Status? Not anymore, I'd wager. 
Ishmael sent me to the White Tower. I was to walk in, steal a Quendalar seal, and bring it to her. Agents inside were supposed to lead me right to it. Simple. Bloodless. Instead, they led me to your chamber, nowhere near anything that resembled a seal, and forced me to kill a number of sisters in order to escape. Now I've been marked. I won't be able to go anywhere without looking over my shoulder for Aes Sedai. My life is worthless. If you want pity, look elsewhere. I'm waiting for you to tell me where you've hidden my trinkets. Otherwise, I would have put you down already, like a rabid hound. You can't lie. All Aes Sedai are bound by the Three Oaths. Tell me that you'll spare my life, and I'll show you where the Tyrangriel are. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here a long time. Why did you come here to hide? It's about the most terrible place I can imagine. Out of the pot and into the fire, eh? I didn't choose it. I was heading back to Ishmael's fortress in the Mountains of Mist for lack of anywhere else to go. You caught me outside. I was hoping you'd be too frightened to follow me in. I was wrong. However, you're avoiding the question. Will you spare my life? If you don't walk out of this city, it will not be of my doing. <laughs> I suppose that's as good as I'm going to get. Let's go. <laughs> this is basically, if you die, I'm just going to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> just look. More gold than I've ever seen. More than I could have dreamed of. What can Ishmael offer that compares to this? Where are my artifacts, hound? Woof. <laughs> is that all you want? Look at this. There is more than enough for both of us. My Tirangrial assassin. Now. Fine. They're buried in that corner. animation she did what she said she was gonna do yes she did Ricky <laughs> assassin to this city but found the entrance blocked by rock we managed to find another way in further down the wall but it might as well be miles from here shortly after we entered a swarm of those horrible creatures attacked us her whole we face have been able to defend ourselves against them but the mist itself rose up behind us and killed nearly half our number we scattered many of our party were separated even now they're somewhere out there the few here managed to stay together our original entrance is blocked, so we decided to make our way here and try to dig our way through the rubble. We've made a lot of progress, but I think the city knows we're here, and it's sending its monsters to destroy us. The light send will have enough time to break through before we are all dead. Your eyes to die. Do something about it. In command to me. If we can survive until dawn, the city's forces will retreat and we'll be able to focus our efforts on digging through the rubble wall. But what of those who were separated? 
Should I try to rescue them? Or are they dead already? Stay alive until dawn when the city's forces will retreat. Then you can escape. In the process, you can defend yourself and your troops, attempt to gather more tear on Grial, or search for the missing sisters and wardens. Warders. So we're saving. And as before, quitting and forcefully restarting the game. Because QuickTime is such a reliable program. So much jank in, like, the way the cutscenes play in this game. Uh, I should probably actually save it here. There. Holy crap, my life. Okay, so this one, if I remember, is one of my favorite ones. Chain Lightning. For as long as you continue to activate Chain Lightning, the Tirangriel waves an aura of electricity around you. Someone else in this state creates a link between you and your target. Touching more targets creates more links. The lightning damages all victims until you run out of charges. You stop expending charges, you are damaged, or the target runs far enough away. Any of these will break the circuit. If activated in water, Chain Lightning affects anyone within it, including the user. I have, like, nothing here. Where did you guys go? Oh, you're all gonna get yourselves killed. God damn it. <gasps> Thank God. I see that. I see you guys. God damn it. Die? Oh my fucking god. Save right here. We have 18, now we have 33. Oh fuck. If I shoot fireballs at them, I'm just going to kill the Aes Sedai and the Warder down there. <laughs> what? Oh no. I think the Warder's already dead. Oh. I need to get over there. I need to get over there. Can I just jump over like this? Yes, I can. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, fucking hell. Ow. Stop standing at it. You're gonna die. <laughs> just... I think she's dead. I think she just died. She did. <laughs> yeah, we got more recovering. Here, we'll save right here. Mmm, speed run. Well, basically, that's what you have to do. You just have to survive at this point. There's like, there's nothing else to do. It's just survive. That's going to take forever to find it. It's nearly dawn. Thank God. I think I found everything. Everything I can. There's probably secrets. There. These are good. More fireball. Or Seekers. Seeker, Seeker, Seeker. Yes. Okay, so I think all the eyes to I are dead. Along <laughs> with all the warders.
I haven't really taken any damage. Which is good. However, it's dawn! Thank God! Oh look, some of them survived. I don't know where they were. <laughs> In the chaos following the escape, I lost my companions. There was nothing to do but hope that they would eventually return to the White Tower. The trip back was long and difficult, especially alone and guarding the Amarlin's Tiran Grial. It took fully three weeks to arrive home. I was greeted by Tar Valon, the city surrounding the White Tower, in ruins. Nothing less than an army could have caused this. But what army? And why? I scanned for the White Tower, hoping against hope that it still stood. Thank the light it did, but besieged by countless Trollocs and Murdral. That told me some, but clearly my answers lay inside. I decided to sneak in. That's not sneaking in. <laughs> Amarlin? What are you doing in the Amarlin's chamber? Why are you holding one of the tower's seals? Where is the Amarlin seat? <laughs> doesn't look evil at all. Keeper Elena, it is wonderful to see you alive. I had my doubts about whether you'd return. Naturally, the situation here is quite distressing, but I expect you to remember that you are addressing a sitter of the hall. I require a certain amount of decorum. Of course, Sitter Sephram. If you would be so kind, could you explain your presence here? As you wish, Keeper. Shortly after the Dark One's army arrived in Tar Valon, the Amralin called a council. She announced that she was giving control of the tower's defense to Rislin of the Blue, but only to hold until you return when she should defer to the Keeper. In the argument that followed, the Amralin seat disappeared, not just from the council chamber, but from the tower, it seems. She's left us all to our fate. Rislin has done an admirable job given her experience, but it's clear, even to her, that the Hall should hold the responsibility of the Tower's defense. When asked, Rislin immediately handed over command. To that end, I've been searching for the Tower's seals. To defend against the invaders, of course. The seals are the responsibility of the Amarlin. You have no right to ransack her chambers. You have no claim to them. Where is the Amralin Keeper? She cannot defend the seals if she is not here. We have reason to believe that the seals are what the invaders search for. I will keep this one safe, since I haven't run away from the danger like a coward. But I am here, Sitter. And I've been given command of the tower by order of the Amralin Seat. Thank you for holding the seal for me. I'll see that it remains safe. Those brown bones, yeah. The story is decently impressive the and... The invaders have broken through the front gate and turned the White Tower into a battlefield. Our home guard continues to search the countryside for the assassin. The remaining warders and sisters have tried valiantly to defend the tower, but they are outnumbered. And while the gate lies open, Trollocs and Murdral stream inside to replace their dead. 
Although the outer gate may have been breached, there is an inner gate. If I can reach and close it, we may have a chance to destroy the invaders already inside. The main gate is not near. In fact, it is located at the base of an adjoining tower. The bridge to this tower extends from the gallery. Fight your way through the library, gain entrance to the gallery, then cross to the adjoining tower. Descend to the courtyards and make it for the front gate. Activate the mechanism in a chamber above. It will raise the inner gate. Um, I am going to save here. And we're going to call it for the day.